Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be painting another sky practice. Um, it's been my habit for a couple of years to try and paint one sky a day at least if I can. Sometimes they're part of the whole painting but more often than not I'm just painting a sky for the sake of painting it because skies are my favourite thing in the world to paint. Um, I live, I'm lucky enough to live on the south coast of England, but only about 500 metres or yards away from the sea. And I like to go out for a daily um, beach walk if I can. Just recently, the wintry weather has been very wet and windy and quite sort of spectacular over the English Channel. So um, today I'm going to be sort of painting a stormy sky uh, blowing in over the sea um, that reminds me of the kinds of dramatic, wonderful light that I see um, in the storm clouds as they um, come over the channel um, towards us. Those of you that have seen my channel before and watched some of my sky practices and my storms know that I'm not looking to get the colours exactly right. The colours that I use are colours that I really am drawn to and colours that give me a sort of feeling and an expressive kind of atmosphere. And so I build up those colours and paint what I feel, not necessarily what I see. So it's my interpretation. Um, here I'm painting on Saunders Waterford cold pressed paper. It's 100% cotton quarter imperial sheet. It's taped to my board and my board's at an angle of about 45 degrees because when I paint a wet in wet sky like this, as you can see, I let gravity help me paint the scene. So today's painting has been uh, made so far with Prussian blue, light red and burnt umber and a bit of raw sienna. And I've just used a water spray as well and painted wet in wet on the sky, tipped and tilted my board um, and now getting in some dry brush across the sea below the horizon and just allowing all that paint to marry and mingle and run down the page, just trying to sort of build up that feeling of light, cloud and rain. This is my flat brush, um, it's a three quarter inch synthetic flat brush and I'm lifting out some paint with it. Um, and then I'll go in and lift a bit more out with some tissue just to reveal a little bit more light and then I'll go in with very, very thick paint again on my Pro Art Extra Large Harky brush. You can see that lovely, rich Prussian blue there. So I'm working around that little bit of light that I exposed by lifting out. And then get my misting spray. It's a kind of misting spray that hairdressers use. Um, gives it a very fine mist and it just helps the paint where it's thickest to run a bit more. You can see where I lifted out the paint, it's drier than the rest of the painting, so it's sort of resisting running around those areas completely, but still a little bit. And I'm beginning to get that dramatic sky effect that I was looking for. Now, I'm not looking for a finished painting here. This is, as I say, it's a sky practice. It's what you could call a study or a sketch. Um, call it what you like. I mean, it might end up looking like a finished painting. If I'm lucky, it will. But what I'm really looking for is to capture that moment of rain, wind, but with the light behind the clouds streaming out over the sea. Oh, that's the cat he wants to go out. But can you see just at the bottom, I'm waiting for that dark paint to run down over the tape and that will give me that lovely dark patch in the corner, the top corner of my sky. So I'm tilting it around, just, just watching the paint flow, trying to sort of control it a little bit um, to get it flowing in the direction that I want. And then as soon as I think it looks okay, then I'll put the board flat and I'm hoping it'll pretty much dry like that. I can maybe make a few slight adjustments, maybe lift a little bit out of a horizon line which I can then neaten up a little bit later. But for now, leaving it flat to dry, 
um, hopefully it'll look a little bit like the way it looks now, but slightly lighter. Now I've just noticed that that lovely white patch that I've got in the sky, I think I just need to ref um, just have a bit more of that light in the sea as sort of like reflection. So I'll start that off and hopefully then be able to soften that back a bit once it's dry. But if I can establish a light patch um, while it's still wet there, then hopefully um, that'll be quite effective. So when you're practicing doing sky practices, then it's really useful to experiment, try out slightly different ways of doing things. Um, so as I say, don't be bogged down by thinking you have to have a beautiful finished painting. This sort of thing, your sky practice is where you find out um, what the paint will do for you. So now I'll let it dry completely and then come back. So it's now completely dry and I like the way it's looking. It's saying what I want it to say, expressing that kind of um, dramatic moment and the amazing magical light that you just sometimes get when the sun just bursts out through some of these storm clouds. So all I need to do now is just a few little touches here and there. I'm running a damp brush along this ruler just to sort of straighten up my horizon line and get it defined a little bit more. I'm not too bothered, but um, as I say, I'm not looking for a finished painting here. This is an exploration. This is um, expressing the moment, trying to capture the light. So I'm just, as I say, neatening and softening in a few areas. The danger is if I try to do too much to this, that I will lose the freshness. Um, it's not perfect. There's a lot of mistakes. There's quite a few blobs and, and bits and strange sort of marks here and there. But that's not important to me. As I say, this is my sky practice and this is um, where I find out what effects I can get how the colours run together, the kind of effects and deep granulations that I get from the pigments on the page um, that give me that really interesting sort of cloud shadow look. Um, so if I go in and do too much to this, as I say, I'm in danger of, of losing the freshness. So I'm just trying to get a bit of, bit slightly more, a duller, more even look across parts of the water, just flattening it out a little bit um, so that I end up with um, a sea, a seascape and a skyscape that works quite well. I want this very sort of flat, eerie, light-filled sea and these clouds coming in from the far distance across the channel. Going back to what I said earlier about I very rarely try to imitate the sort of colours that you see, local colours, realistic colours. Um, I'm often trying to use different colours and mostly tones to represent um, what I want to express and the kind of weather that I want to show. So in your own practices, don't be afraid to use slightly different or strange colors um, combined in different ways to express what you're wanting to say. Remember, it's your own unique painting and it doesn't matter that you don't use classic blues or classic grays. Use whatever colors you need to say what you want to say. And the more you practice, the more you will begin to see what it is that you want to say and the way you want to say it through paint. So I'm going to take off the tape and have a look at it. And I always think when you see it with a clean white border, um, it makes it a little more finished, more complete. And I'm reasonably happy with this. This has been, I think, a successful um, exercise in painting and very atmospheric sky filled with light, with light on the sea. And it isn't perfect. If we zoom in, um, 
we can look closely and see that there's quite a lot of streaks and marks and things from where I sort of applied paint and didn't quite blend it in. See those um, two little dots there. Now, you might be tempted to maybe take a, a scrubber and on the dry page sort of maybe remove those, see if you can take them out. Now, the problem is with that, you can disturb the wash that you've got and any mends that you try to do on a fresh painting like this will really show. So don't worry about perfection, just enjoy learning to express yourself when you do these sky practices, whether it's a really calm summer sky or a bleak stormy sky like this, um, the fresher you can keep it, the more authentic your sky will look. So I hope that was useful. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and maybe subscribe to my channel um, for more um, similar sort of um, loose watercolour paintings. Um, and thank you so much to my lovely Patreon group who support this channel. And I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.